Hello everybody, this is Spicy Donut, also known as The Fresh Donut. And today I want to talk about my third part of my simple how-to video on trust stones. And I have a lot of guild members that currently don't use trust stones or don't know how to go about uh, using them on gear or acquiring them as well. So today I kind of wanted to make this video for them just to show how easy it actually is on a base level it does get more complex with the higher levels and trying to get you know multiple skills stacked to one stone but I hope this video helps you all understand on at least getting the base level of green for the trust stones so let's get into this um, first trust stones are only equipped to TMRs, the Trust Mastery Equipment. And an easy one that everybody should have would be like Mont's Line Emblem. Now, when you first look at your gear and you're going to equip something to it, it'll actually have uh, these areas locked. So you have to unlock them using books. I want to say it's about 30 or 50 books per slot to unlock um, the Trust Stone slots. Once you have them unlocked, it should look something like this. Now, trust stones, they can be complicated when you're trying to figure out what you need and how to go about putting them into a formation and what's best for the formation. I just say focus on the unit that it's going to be on. So I'm going to use this Trust Master equipment, um, I guess, for a tank. And for a tank, I want to build something along the lines of having more HP, more resistance, and let's say more defense. But before we do that, I need to show you how you can even start acquiring Trust Stones. And what you need to do is first acquire the shards. So you're going to head over to the far planes and go to your day training and head to the trust stone chamber. Each of these chambers is going to be a different stone. You don't have to farm them a whole lot. You just need to get enough um, shards to make one trust stone. And so here each chamber has green blue and purple for each different type of trust stone and each trust stone is crafted by 20 of each so you would need 20 of these greens to make one stone 20 of the blues to make one uh, blue stone and 20 of the purple to make one purple trust stone they are different tiers um, the higher tier it is the more HP and better stats the stone is going to come out with but for now we're just going to focus only on the green just so we can have an understanding of the passives at the base level so if you haven't done this yet i do recommend that you do go to each of these chambers and try to acquire at the minimum just 20 uh, of each green and once you've done um, each of these rooms and gotten at least 20 shards of each uh, green trust stone. You're going to go back to your equipment. You're going to go to forge down here on the bottom left. And so now it brings up this menu and this can get a little confusing. There are two separate types of trust stones that you need to be aware of. You have your offensive and defensive type of trust stones. And the way I've come to learn on which is which by the menu up here, I've learned that the defensive is going to be the first one here. You skip one and go to the next one. That one's a defensive type. You skip one and go to this one here. That's also defensive. Offensive is going to start with this one here that looks like the A. So it's going to be offensive, skip, offensive type, skip, offensive. 
And you can kind of tell which one's offensive, at least from my perspective. Uh, when you're looking at the sh uh, shards here, you can see that there's like a little sword icon here. And if you even click on it, it says assault. That tells me that the option I have picked is going to be the offensive type. And for the defensive, I know I'm on the defensive option by clicking on the icon and it says like HP here. That I know that's a defensive skill. So that's how I've learned which option I'm on when I'm crafting these. So let's say now that you have a bunch of the green shards and you want to build up that TMR that I showed you earlier. Now there are different types of skills that you can use. There's HP, which is vital, defensive, which is shield, you have luck, you have avoid, which is like evade, TP, barrier, which is like the spirit stat, and dodge, I want to say this is critical evade. And for your assault, you have the AP, you have magic, aim, assault, dexterity, and critical. So right now we're gonna focus just on the defensive and then we'll get back to the offensive. So by looking at all these, you need to know that if you create three of any one type, so if I create one HP on this one, another HP on this one, and HP on this one, all three together will stack and give me a set passive skill. And I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. So let's say I'm gonna craft one HP on this one. Now it's gonna say complete here and you're gonna see a skill here. Don't worry about this skill just yet. Just be concerned that you crafted one already. I'm gonna create another HP. And one more. Okay, so my forging is complete. I've created three of the same type on the defensive type. Now I'm going to go back to that TMR that I showed you earlier. And the defensive type, they slot onto this left side of the equipment. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to set. I have a filter on. Hold on. Okay, confirm. Now I have a mess of things in here, but usually if this is like your first time crafting these, you should be able to find the stone you just uh, crafted right away. But for my own knowledge, I know that whenever you craft a new stone, it'll be always on the bottom if you don't have any filters set. So here's that HP one that I just made. I'm gonna set it in. Let's do the second one. And lastly, the third. So now you can see on the defensive side, I have HP, HP, HP. All defensive on the uh, same type of stone. And now I have a set bonus on this gear. And you can see here, it's max HP up 5% and all elemental attack resistance up 5%. Now, let's talk about the offensive side. And we have to go back and craft those. Let's see. On the offensive side, we'll go back to Forge. We'll click on the A here. Go all the way down to the green. Now for these, it really depends on what your unit is doing and what you want to utilize them and combat. Now, if I'm running a tank and I'm concerned with, like say, I have a tank that doesn't have a lot of AP generation, well then I would want to use the AP stone. Or let's say I just have 
a unit that needs to do a little bit more damage with like piercing resistance or just overall attack then I would opt into the assault or what if I have a mage that wants more magic attack I could use the magic uh, stone as well but for this video I think I'll craft the assault just so I can show you the attack gain that you get from this so let's go ahead and craft three of the assaults go and one more I'm also going to show you um, where you can look to see the set bonuses um, let me show you one real quick so let's say if I wasn't sure what um, what kind of set bonus I would get if I crafted three of the AP so I'm going to go ahead and just craft one real quick Oh, it was right there. <laughs> okay, do the magic one then. Okay, before I, I before I click off, right here on the bottom, it tells you set bonus. This tells me if I have a set of three, I will get this additional ability. If I have a set of two, I only get 10% of the magic. But this is where you can see uh, what kind of set bonus you get if you build three of any of the same type but since we're focusing on the attack right now I'm gonna go back to that gear and equip it with those three assaults all right it's gonna be on the bottom because I just crafted it man I gotta organize this more I have such a mess on my stones but it's okay and the last one, there we go. Okay, now I have three. Oh, that's actually the wrong one. You can see the difference there too. I have two attack and I have a magic and I don't have the third set bonus. I only have attack up 10% from equipping two assault stones, but I have one magic stone that gives me nothing. So let's go back and look for the right one. And it's right here. So now I have three assault and I now have the additional before I only had the attack up 10%. Now with the third stone, I have the defense piercing rate up 10. And that's all you really need to know as far as doing the basic power up from a trust stone. That's literally it. Like you can dive into this addition of abilities onto what you know each stone gives you but for some people that might be too much for them right now I'm just trying to show you how easy it is to get the base uh, level uh, stat gain for your gear and this process can be used for any uh, TMR that is out there now granted the one I used right now is for a accessory, but this also works for armor and weapons. Um, so if you go to the stats now here, you can see here uh, in the green numbers, the stat gain that this item or equipment gain just from putting on basic stones and getting the set bonus and that's all you need i mean it, it doesn't take much to gain that much extra stats on your units um i will do another video a little bit later on showing you how complicated it can get as far as crafting uh the higher tier stones i do know i believe this coming week everybody's gonna have access to one of each uh ur stone and I might make a video on that to show you uh, the benefits on getting uh, UR uh, stones for each slot. I mean, because it's it's pretty ridiculous. Like the stat gain, when you actually look at it, I guess I'll actually show you right now what it looks like. Um, let me see. Let me put my filter on. So I got a few here on some of the gear for my units I use in Arena. Um, you can see here I have 
a speed trust stone and you can see the stats here that it gives me I have an accuracy up as the additional ability um, I have some really good ones in here where are they so like on the HP stones you can get a high HP you can get like 100 here for the HP stone 160 um, I have a debuff resistance here I mean when you look at this gear I mean look how much HP it has that's with all the stones equipped to it look how much additional magic and attack I get how much AP how much more accuracy how much more luck like even down here like on the additional abilities I have all these stats stacked on top of this gear and it's not even maxed out that's a crazy thing like trying to get additional abilities on trust stones is a long process and I personally don't have the time to farm, you know, for stones every single day. Mostly these uh, UR stones are stones that I gain through tickets. And I just uh, summoned them and then crafted them. And that's all I really did. I crafted them. I got the ability I wanted by dismantling it over and over again. But I'll save that process for another video. For now. Um just mess around a little bit with the stones like here's an armor that I don't have unlocked see this one's asking for 50 books each to unlock each slot and let's see if I did do that and then all the slots would be open for me to put stones into I think I have a couple of weapons yeah I got here's a weapon I have that has basic um, green stones on it has a max HP up 5% the all elemental attack resistance up 5% and max AP up 10% and AP cost rate downton so some of the gear I just threw basic stones on if you want an additional power up to your units and your teams just follow this process and just get the set bonuses and if you're comfortable with just leaving it there well then hopefully this video helps you if you want to get a little bit more into detail and into depth on how to really power up the stones um, hopefully soon I'll have a video up for y'all so I can show you the process um, I just try to make this as simple and easy to understand just for all my guild members that haven't uh, implemented this uh, system into their units yet because when this came out a lot of people just kind of like well we'll deal with it later but the thing is not everybody's doing that and it makes enemy guilds you know harder to beat and all they're doing is this basic stuff right here so hopefully um this doesn't make you discouraged on trying to learn this system i don't think it's too hard once you just once you mess around with just the basic green ones you're probably going to want to be very curious as to what kind of uh, stats you can get from crafting stones, what kind of additional abilities you can get, what kind of you know units that you can make stronger. Um, but until that next video, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you in the next one.